Hey guys, how's it going? Let's continue from question 26 for our November paper. Uh, please, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to actually send them over to my number and then we'll be able to answer your questions in a special video uh, on weekends, okay? So let's just continue. Our question 26 is, uh, it uh, says global warming is caused by, we have to identify uh, what causes global warming, the combustion of fuels, this is a very strong answer okay but then let's just go on uh, formation of ice this one it's uh, it's not even it okay so uh, if you have uh, ice forming it, uh, it actually shows that uh, the, the temperatures they are dropping okay which is not the case uh, you actually have melting of ice and even that would not be a cause of global warming but a consequence just like uh, rise in uh, sea level year it's a consequence of global warming it's not a cause okay and uh, reforestation it's a, it's a way of uh, mitigation, uh, mitigating, okay. So mitigation measure. So this is how we mitigate or this is how we try to fight uh, global warming. We do that by, by reforestation, okay. So uh, we just go with our combustion of fuels and make sure that uh, you, you really, really, really not uh, uh, the spelling here. It's reforestation, it's not reforestation was that this, um, most students they say reforestation some students rather they say reforestation okay so you don't want to say that it's called reforestation let's uh, quickly move over to question 27 it says to which uh, homo homologous uh, group does ethanol belong okay so with this some of these big words sometimes uh, you realize that your question is actually readable, readable even if you don't uh, read this one okay so to which series does uh, ethanol belong so the suffix here o the suffix o okay so suffix may simply means the um end of a, of a word okay the 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 end sometimes it uh, it gets a nod to something okay so alcohols you also find uh, the oa here okay so in the nomenclature uh the system that we use to name uh, organic compounds a, a big part of that are uh, these suffixes and also sometimes the prefixes okay so we just go with them um, with the alcohols so propanol so propanol would be having also the same suffix uh just because it's it's a what it's a, it's an alcohol as well okay let's quickly move over to question 28 it asks us what is the si unit uh, of uh, volume so SI simply means standard, standard international with uh, the E uh, at the end. Okay, so uh, it simply means standard unit of, uh, of uh, uh, measurement for volume. So the standard unit of measurement for length would be meter. So volume is simply meter cubed. Okay, so you'd actually have to go with, with this. Okay, so this is the standard uh, unit for, for, for volume. So let's quickly move to the next part. This one was an easy question. Next part says the sketch graph shows uh, uh, temperature changes during uh, a day. Okay, so these are temperature changes we are recording here. What is the, what is the approximate temperature difference uh, between the hottest and the coldest uh, time of the day? So you have to identify uh, temperature increases. That means it's getting hotter here. And then the hottest time of the day will be this one. It was uh, written about 30. So you'd be having this. And then this one was written about uh, uh, five okay so if it's not very visible uh, it's because when i was washing these questions sometimes i lose detail okay but then this was essentially 30 so you have 30 and 5 so the the difference would be uh 30 degrees celsius minus 5 degrees celsius so this one was max this one was the minimum okay so you'd actually be having uh 25 thereabouts this one simply means approximately okay so 25 thereabouts degrees Celsius. So you just find whatever answer is closest to 25 here. So just go with B, okay? So that's it. Let's uh, quickly move over to question 30. It says a beaker of water is heated uh, at the base. Uh, what does the volume of, uh, what does the water at the base, why does the water at the base rise? Okay, so if it rises, then it means that it's expanding, okay? Contracting means shrinking. Expanding means it's rising, okay? So why does it, it it's either this or this, okay? So which one should we choose? When something expands, 
we're saying that it, it's increasing in terms of volume. So we know that density, this one is raw, it's equal to mass over, over volume, okay? So if this one increases, so we can say density is um, inversely proportional to the, to the volume. That means when density increases, volume de uh, decreases, okay? When volume decreases, density increases. So here we had say that it's expanding, so volume is increasing. So the density must be, must be decreasing, okay? So it expands and becomes less dense. Let's uh, quickly move over to question 31, since we still have time here. So this one will be good. A hot iron bar and a cold uh, iron bar are placed uh, next to each other as shown in the diagram. Okay, so this one hot and cold. Which material can be uh, used to fill up the gap, the, the gap uh, so that it can be transmitted the fastest? So they are testing uh, heat capacity, your knowledge of heat capacity. What materials are very good uh, in terms of uh, uh, conducting heat? Okay, so obviously that would be metals. Uh, so here you'd, you'd have to choose this one here to uh, uh, transmit that um, uh, uh, heat energy the fastest. So wood is, is a very poor conductor. Water is also a very poor conductor. I think there's even an experiment where you have um, you behaving like this and uh, this one will be water. And then someone will, they will Put a live flame here, and then water will start actually start uh, uh, bubbling here, or you'll be having some convectional currents, as if the water is boiling. Uh, the water will be actually boiling here, but then here it will actually be cold. Okay, so if you if you uh, also be people in Zimbabwe, you normally we we bath using uh, bucket water. So sometimes you pour in hot water, and then you pour in cold water. If you don't mix them, sometimes you actually realize that. Uh, some part of some part of that water will be warmer than uh, some other parts. Okay, so water is a very poor conductor of of, uh, of heat energy. So we we'll just go with the uh, metals. Let's see if we can. Uh, I think we can afford to do more questions here. A negatively charged sphere is suspended by a thread. What happens to the sphere when a negatively charged rod is brought near it? Okay, so here you're dealing with uh, a problem of static electricity. So static electricity, one of the basics, uh, basic concepts there is that positive and positive, they repel, negative and negative, they repel. The idea being uh, charges of the, the same polarity, they repel. And if they are the different polarity, for example, positive and negative, they attract, okay? So you're dealing with negative here, you're dealing with negative here. So obviously they will be repelled, okay? So the sphere is uh, repelled here. Okay, it doesn't have to do with the size. Remember, this is a problem in static electricity. Let's quickly move to question 33. I think we can get to 35. So, uh, what is the function of uh, a petrol filter in a carburetor? So, as, as, the, as the name suggests, it actually filters petrol. So, it cleans the fuel, in other words. So, uh, how does it do that? So, it, it filters out uh, any impurities that may, may be there. So that's the use of the of the petrol filter, and the air filter would clean clean the air. Okay, so this one was always an easy one. Uh, let's see question thirty four. It says the diagram below shows the magnetic uh, field pattern of a solenoid. So solenoid is simply this coil here. Uh, it's it's a wire coil, and then uh, it's a wire, and then you coil it into uh, these. Um, uh, as if it's, it's like a cylinder, you can even use a cylinder to achieve the shape, by the way. And when, when you uh, pass current through it, it gives uh, an, um, a, a magnetic field. Okay, so it generates a magnetic field here. Uh, that's what the solenoid does. It's, it's an electromagnet. It's a type of an electromagnet. So this magnetic field here makes this magnetic such that you can, you can have a magnetic torque. We say that uh, magnetic torque or turning effect. Okay, so the magnetic field strength is increased by, how do you increase the magnetic field strength? So, so the magnetic field strength uh, is directly proportional to the, to the number of turns multiplied by the, by the current, okay? So 
uh, it means that the more the number of turns, the greater the magnetic field strength, the more the uh, current, the greater the magnetic field strength. So if you want to increase uh, the current in, uh, if you want to increase the magnetic field strength of this solenoid, we actually have to consider either of those two, okay? So we just have to find uh, anything matching uh, those two. So increasing uh, reduces the number of turns of reducing the number of turns of the solenoid, obviously this is not it. When you reduce, you actually reduce the, the magnetic field strength, increasing the diameter of uh, the solenoid, not necessarily uh, increasing the current of the solenoid, now this is more like it, okay? So, uh, reducing the, the current uh, in the solenoid, so this one is not it, so we just go with, uh, with B, okay? So if they said increasing the number of tens, then that's, that would also be, have been a very good answer. Okay, so just know uh, those two are the two factors that you adjust. Now on question 35, uh, we have this diagram. And the diagram, it shows a uh, battery uh, connected uh, to two 6 ohm resistors. What is the total resistance of the, of the circuit? So this this ones they are in in series. When resistors are in series, you simply add. Okay, so uh, equivalent resistance you can say R E Q here is equal to uh, six point zero ohm plus six point zero ohm. Okay, so you'd actually get uh, twelve point point zero ohm like this. Okay, so I don't know why they wrote twelve point zero zero here. Uh, if we're sticking to uh, conve conventional uh, significant figures, and uh, this one wouldn't hold, okay? So this one is just supposed to be 12.0, not 12.00 as they wrote it. But then it's still fine, these mistakes happen. So let's uh, continue with uh, questions 36 up to 40 uh, in the next video, okay? So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you send uh, any quiz or questions that you may have. And um, yeah, that's just about it. Um, Yuba out. Mm -hmm.